Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the import and export function in WordPress, which is going to allow you to import and export any posts, pages, comments, uh, categories, tags, and custom fields, that kind of content. And it's going to allow you to move it between two WordPress sites, or for export for use with a different content management system. It's really easy to use this function and from the WordPress dashboard, you just need to hover over tools and you're gonna see you've got import and export available here. I'm gonna start off showing you the export and then we'll import. So you just wanna click on export here. And we're gonna see that um, when we click on the button below, WordPress is going to create an XML file, which is going to contain the download of our site's content. This is going to contain posts, pages, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags. And you can choose whether to export all of that content or you can just have posts by clicking posts here. And you've also got some options to sort by category, as well as author and a date range and a status. So that's whether it's publish, scheduled, draft, pending, or private. And you can do the same with pages. So you can just have pages and you can choose author, a date range, as well as those same status options. I'm gonna choose all of these. Now just quickly to note, this isn't gonna include anything about your WordPress theme. But here I'm going to export all my content and I just need to click download export file. And I'm going to see this drop down comes down and I can just save that onto my computer. And we're going to see that has downloaded. And now if we want to import again under tools again, just need to click on import. And here you're going to see you have um, different options for different content management systems. So you can import from blogger, blog roll. You can use a categories and tags converter to um, convert existing categories to tags or tags to categories selectively. We've got live journal, movable type and type pad, RSS, Tumblr and WordPress. And if you're exporting from anything other than WordPress, then you can just click on the relevant content management system here. If you can't find it, then you can use the WordPress plugin directory and see if you can find a relevant importer. I'm importing from WordPress and to import, I just need to install this extra add-on here. So clicking on that brings up this. I just need to click install now. And that's going to allow me to install that. And I can just click activate. And I'm going to be returned to the import function. I can now import the content that I have just exported. I just need to click choose file. And then select the file I have just created, that XML file. I just need to click upload file and import. And we're going to see that added to our WordPress installation. WordPress is just going to upload that. And we can see here that we can choose whether to import an author onto an author that already exists, or we can create a new author with the login name. So I could have a new user here, and you can do that for both of those authors I've got. So I'm just gonna pop both of those onto my theme shop. And you can also choose whether to download and import file attachments, so that's any media you've got attached to your posts. And you can just click submit, and we're going to see the import has completed and that is all done and if i return to my wordpress dashboard i'm going to see i've got all of those posts pages and comments that i have just imported that's all there is to it um, importing and exporting can be great for con moving content over between sites or just installing dummy content from a wordpress theme that you have perhaps purchased from a supplier such as my theme shop that's all there is to it i hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching mm -hmm.